the universe pops up. We live on Earth. If we look up in the sky during the day, we see the sun always with the same shape, but not always in the same place. It rises in the east, traces a big arc in the sky, and sets in the west. At night, we see the stars and the moon, like the sun. They rise in the east, trace a big arc in the sky, and set in the west. The stars are much smaller than the sun, and are not that bright. In fact, at night, the sky is dark. The moon is as big as the sun, but less bright, and it has different shapes. Sometimes it is round, like the sun, sometimes it is like a crescent, and sometimes we don't see it at all, even if there are no clouds. Why can't stars light up the night sky? Are they too small? Are they far away? How far? And the moon? How far is the moon? Why does the moon change its shape? How far is the sun? Where does it go at night? It does not go away. The earth spins and brings us into the shadow away from the sun. In the dark, we see the moon and the stars. We see them rising and setting. And soon the sun comes again, bringing daylight. Sun, earth, moon, why don't they fall down? In the universe, there is no up and no down. Everything falls on everything. We fall to the ground. The moon is falling on the earth and the earth on the moon. The earth and the moon are falling on the sun and the sun on them. Why don't they crash? They are like a pair of spinning skaters. They have to hold tight together because rotation is pulling them apart. Rotation keeps things from actually falling on each other. The earth spinning around gives day and night in 24 hours. The shape of the moon going around the earth gives the length of a month. The earth going around the sun gives us the seasons of the year. Other worlds rotate around the sun, sometimes with their own moons rotating around them. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Apparently, no one lives there. And the sun and the stars, are they rotating around something? If we could turn off all the city lights and there were no clouds and no moon, you could see a milky glowing band arching across the night sky, the Milky Way. The Milky Way is made out of a countless number of stars rotating around a common center. The Sun is just one of them. The Milky Way is a galaxy. There is a countless number of galaxies in the universe. How do we know? We started a long, long time ago by observing the sky day by day and night after night. We had many ideas. We made models, we invented mathematics. We tested our theories by measuring the positions of the stars and making predictions about the movement. We built tools, such as the telescope, which allows us to see far away. And the rocket that took us to the moon. We discovered that space is shaped by the bodies that it contains pretty much as a sofa is shaped by the people sitting on it. We also discovered that space is finitely big, and it can shrink or expand like a bubble. We discovered that light takes time to get from here to there, so when we see something happening, it actually happened a while before. The further we look, the older what we see is. We also discovered that time flows differently here and there. The closer we are to a star, the slower time passes. We discovered that everything is made out of tiny bricks called atoms. The atoms are themselves made out of even smaller bricks called elementary particles. 
fermions and bosons. You can think of them as tiny marbles, but they actually have very odd properties. And the universe? What do we know about the universe? How big is the universe? Has the universe always existed, or did it have a beginning? Will the universe have an end? Bringing all our knowledge together, looking far in deep space with our powerful telescopes, back in unthinkably remote times, today we think we know how the story of the universe began. In the beginning, there was nothing. No here, no there. And since nothing could go from here to there, no before and no after. Space and time had no extension. Everything was inside a point. Not a point placed somewhere. Space and time were just that point. Inside the point, it was hot. Something made the point expand. Inside, elementary particles were moving randomly at incredible speeds, popping out of nowhere here and disappearing there. At some point, for some strange reason, they stayed. As the universe was expanding, it started cooling down. Elementary particles combined to form first atomic nuclei, and then atoms, mainly hydrogen. Over a long period of time, slightly denser regions of this nearly uniform cloud of atomic dust attracted nearby dust, growing denser and denser, until the cloud collapsed under its own weight. Everything got hot again, nuclear reactions started, and a lot of light started to get emitted. A star was born. The fate of a star can be very different, mainly depending on its initial size. Small stars, like our Sun, after fusing hydrogen into helium, become red giants and finally produce a planetary nebula to become white dwarfs. Big stars, after exhausting hydrogen, become red supergiants and go on to fuse elements heavier than helium. Finally, they collapse and explode as supernovae, spreading around the elements precious to life. Stardust attracts nearby stardust, forming gas clouds, stars, planetary systems, galaxies, clusters of galaxies, clusters of clusters of galaxies, and all other astronomical structures we can see today. The universe is a dark space full of bright spots. Each one of these is a dark space full of galaxies. Each galaxy is a dark space full of stars. Are we alone in this vast universe? Inside one of these bright spots, there is a cluster of galaxies, the local group. Near the centre of this, there is a small galaxy, the Milky Way. Somewhere at its edge, there is a tiny star, the Sun. Around the Sun rotates, among others, a tiny grain, the Earth. Somewhere on its vast surface, there is a tiny creature. That's you, looking at the sky, seeing a lot more than you've ever seen before. There is much more that you can read to get to know all that is known about the universe. Pulsars, quasars, black holes, gravitational waves are just some of the unbelievable things we have seen recently. Many more are waiting to be seen and understood. Little by little, 
you can join and give your contribution.